So there's about 100 of us in this room tonight. Based on current statistics, somewhere between 30 and 50 of us are going to be diagnosed with cancer at some point during our lifetime. I'm not trying to be alarmist in any way, but to me, that's concerning. Diseases such as cancer are often caused by mechanical failures in the microscopic machinery in our bodies that we call enzymes. These enzymes are critical in the regulation of the chemical reactions that occur in our body on a daily basis. Our job as medicinal chemists is to develop new drugs that can attempt to stop those malfunctions from occurring. So how exactly do we do this is the question. So drugs can interact with enzymes in a similar fashion to a key interacting with a padlock. As with a physical key, a drug of a specific size and shape, or a molecular key, can be used to interact with an enzyme and alter its function. That interaction is critical and can actually be a way to treat a disease. So my research is specifically involved with developing or creating these molecular keys and figuring out how we can use nature to simplify that process. So to illustrate this, imagine you have your house key and you want to make a copy. You go to the hardware store, you hand the employee a copy or uh, your key, the employee takes your key. He doesn't make that key from a raw metal bar. What he does is he has a key blank. From that key blank, he can not only make your key, but he can make other keys that open hundreds of other doors to other people's houses. So in a similar fashion, we can do that with medicinal chemistry. So what we can do is we can take nature's prefabricated molecular building blocks and build wide arrays of different drug candidates. One specific example that I've been looking at in my thesis is stevia, as you see here on uh, number three. So stevia is something you can buy in the grocery store. It's a low calorie sweetener that you can use in the morning for your coffee. Also can be used as a molecular building block. If we take that molecular building block or that molecular key blank, we can develop a wide array of different molecular keys or drug candidates that can be used to treat disease. Each one of these candidates can be tested against a wide array of different diseases. And at the end of the, at the, end of the day, we hope that one of those shows us some sort of activity. One specific example that has come out of our lab in recent years is a, a subset of these stevia derivatives has shown significant activity against human lung cancer cells. So on a daily basis in our lab, what we do is we develop the processes to look for new treatments for diseases such as cancer. Thank you.